here is an example of captured animal cards. First we have Koiri, so that's already 5 points. Then we have 7 animals total, so that's another 3 points on top. Also we have 7 animal cards. You would double the total point at the end of the game, which we'll go over in detail a little later. Finally, the brights, or Kuang. These are the kings in the game. You must collect at least 3 of these to earn any points. Collecting 3 of these is equal to 3 points, 4 4 points, and 5 a whooping 15 points. There is a catch, however. Within the set of 3, if one of them is the rain bright, then that is only 2 points. Within that set of 4, if one of them is the rain bright, then that is only 3 points instead of 4. So here's an example of overall point system. We have 10 junk cards with the red polonia, so that gives us 2 points. Next, we have 5 ribbon cards with the blue poem set, which is 4 points. So now we have 6 points total. Next, we have 7 animal cards with the set of kori, which is a total of 8 points. Then we have 4 brights with the rain bright, which is 3 points total. So altogether, we have 17 points. Plus, we have 7 animals, which means we can double our points, so that would give us a grand score of 34 points at the end. So what's up with all of these points, you ask? Well, here's the rule. In the game of two players, the first player to reach 7 points at the end of his or her turn can declare go or stop. And in the game of three players, the first player to reach 3 points can declare go or stop. If the player declares stop, then the game ends and he or she is the winner of that round. If the player declares go, then the turn spin one more time. Here's the catch. If any other players reach the required points before the turn returns to the first go player, then he or she can declare go or stop. Usually, when this happens, the second player who has reached the required points would declare stop. So it is best for the first player who has reached the required points to think whether it is a good idea to take the risk or not. The first time you declare go, it's one go. If the turn returns back to you, you can declare two go or stop. If you declare two go and the turn returns to you again, you can declare three go or stop, and so on. Declaring one go and two go gives you an extra point each at the end of your round, and declaring three go will double your score at the end. Of course, you can declare go more than three times, and in this case, each go beyond the third will double your score at the end of the round. Finally, we'll go over the special rules that are available during the gameplay. When you have a starting hand that has three cards of the same month, then you declare hyundum, referred as shaking the cards. If this happens and you win the round, then you can double the points you have at the end.